Hello again. After talking about water literacy foundation in general last time, we want to specifically explain some of our very own effective techniques to fight water scarcity in dry regions, starting this time with stream water harvesting. Hearing that, stream water, and thinking about India, one might ask, there are so few streams and rivers, especially in South India, what use do you want to get out of this little water? But this is only part true. It is right that because of reasons like changing climate conditions and the loss of vegetation in catchment areas, there is less water percolating to the subsoil layers. And too much groundwater gets extracted via bore well, that is correct too. But there is also one big, often mentioned argument we don't agree with. It's a matter of rain! Everybody who knows a little bit about climate in India has at least heard about the weather phenomenon called monsoon. Within the monsoon season, beginning in June in southwest India and going on through September, it delivers lots of rain to different regions in India that lie dry for the rest of the year. Within this short amount of time, India gets more rainwater than for example Europe and North America in a whole year. The problem now is that the ground takes in a part of, but is not able to absorb all this water. It builds little streams that lead into rivers that finally lead into the sea or dry out, which means they are no usable source of water. And all of this time, thousands of liters of water evaporate under the hot sun. Everybody knows the so-called wadis, riverbeds lying dry all around the year that only carry water during the rainy season. This is where Sir Ayapa's techniques come in. In this case we use a successful project completed in the Gadak district in Karnataka in 2009 to explain this method, its advantages and results. What was it like before? The villages Marambazari, Nagaral and Niralaki were situated in really dry land and the little water that was available had excessive amounts of fluoride and was hard. Water Literacy Foundation's solution, the stream water harvesting method, uses the hidden stream which is flowing through the sand deposits of the stream bed, right underneath the actual visible flow of water. Now, multiple underground dams with plastic covers and buns in front of them have been built to stop this hidden stream. The blocked water can easily percolate into subsoil layers through the buns and that way we restore the groundwater table. One bund, up to 5 meters deep, can be constructed for around 3 legs, while it is recommended to construct at least 5 or 6 underground dams along 500 meters of stream. And of course, to get the biggest visible success, it is important to finish the building process right before the raining season. The building process in Gadak district was completed within little more than a month of effective working. The consequences for the villages were amazing. It took only one rain for the open well to refill and after two rain seasons the groundwater level had risen from 46 to 18 meters below surface. The water was now soft, free from fluoride and most important of all, portable. 17 bore wells have been built since that time, four for drinking purposes. The number of waterborne diseases has harshly decreased and farmers can grow more, different crops with better yield. Children that had to skip classes to collect water can now attend school instead. And in general, the fact that the villagers don't have to fight about water anymore did improve their life a lot. The method itself can easily be replicated all over India and is a lot more cost effective than other techniques like check dams and watershed development that are often supported by the government. In addition to this, it is now possible to allocate funds of the NREGS because earthwork excavation is the main part of the work, which makes the project even more attractive. If you have any questions about streamwater harvesting or you want to contact us to find out more about our work, don't hesitate to write an email to waterliteracy at yahoo.com or check out our Facebook page. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please show it on Facebook and join the Water Warrior movement.